There we go, is how we're going to start uh -huh. every programme. <laughs> Partridge day, isn't it? You will say, well, then they shouldn't have gone out holding hands no, no, no. And, no. and being a no, couple. No, no, no. Situation, another situation. So, I'm a big fan. They do a great job for this country. Just be a little bit careful about the volume of jabbering about your lives. It actually take two minutes. You did it, didn't you? I did it while the news was on uh, the other day. I do day. think that, and if you don't do that, then they'll take them and they'll save mm. lives. I mean, how many people really give it a lot of thought mm. until they're on their deathbed? Well, 17 minutes past six, Labour faces another anti-Semitism row. Uh, Charlotte, thank you. It's time for our competition. Uh, we're giving away £300,000 cash. Richard's coming up with the entertainment news, including reports that the Kardashians have another... No! Oh, oh, come on. Really? <laughs> it's exciting. We're going to keep you up to date with the Kardashians because we're keeping up with Kardashian baby news. You're watching Good Morning Britain on ITV. Um, uh, Charlotte apparently is in our safe space. She's just fled to our safe space. There she is. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know who told Colin Kaepernick to kneel? No, I don't recall. And, and would agree exactly with what he just said. And if you look at social media, because that's the prism mm. through which uh, we often view things in America. I think Trump should have not done this. I think he's digging himself into a massive hole. Anyway, talking of massive holes... <laughs> <laughs> can, I just, can I try and process this a little yes, bit? Yes, go on. Uh, congratulations to Kylie. It's just dancing. Here's Alex with the weather. Ruin her career, medical student Lavinia Woodward only received a suspended sentence. Do you know, I'm not normally an advocate of headbutting what? on live television. Yeah. You, you said have... that Charlotte shouldn't be saying Are headbutting on live television. Yes. Right. The number two of the Labour Party, live and unleashed. Have you stopped talking? You were the one that brought up headbutting. Let's get the news travel whether you are first. <laughs> But that's being overshadowed by allegations of anti-Semitism after a speaker at a fringe event. And then she goes on to reveal a little bit about it. But I'm going to keep that from you because we're going to show it in just maybe a couple of our, minutes. Tell the, the director that one is uh, one in the show. 7.32. Rav has gone mad. She's in some weird room, safe space, sending you weird messages. Yeah. Not communicating with the control room. Uh, uh, pedantic little experts out there who want to correct me you about Russian this. Jungle. You started this. You are the pedantic it. little expert You do this, this to program. everybody. Shrinking banshees <gasps> either side of me, yapping around all day. I need some men. Where have they gone? Where have the men gone? Yeah. Oh, could leave you infertile. So, um... Oh my goodness. Well, I could. If you think about it, all you these what, sports... Working on this programme is, is detrimental to my health. Uh, the main news this morning that an Oxford University student has avoided prison despite stabbing her boyfriend. Well, from being one of Britain's best-loved comedians to an award-winning children's author, David Baddiel is a man of many talents. So doing children's books, Julian Clary, yeah. David Williams... And about my mum and dad. The great thing about it, I've noticed... A Fox movie, you tell it him. Always good to see you. Thanks very, very nice much to see indeed. you. Now it's time.